Hey, old bronze leaders, welcome back. I believe this is episode 10. This is the longest running show I've had yet at 10 episodes, and I'm just, I'm thrilled that you guys are enjoying this. So thank you guys so much for that. I just wanted to give some quick shout outs to people in the comments who have been giving me some tips and some things that I should do. I haven't done a lot of them yet because I'm, I'm still kind of in the exploration phase, but RL Dragon Strider, Lazy viewer, not really that lazy because you've been commenting, so I'm not sure if that name really fits. Sticks and Manorox 2142 and Lock 34, thank you everyone for your comments uh, of support and tips and everything like that. You've been a, a, a huge help because I'm still pretty new at this, so uh, I just wanted to give a personal shout out to all those people who have been sticking with it and, and watching all of these. Um, it is New Year's Day right now. Uh, uh, and so I'll deal with this in a second. So it is New Year's Day, and uh, I'm hoping to maybe even up this to putting out two episodes a day, but we'll see. I'm not really sure uh, what how that's going to shake out entirely. So we can take the shovel, because I did make that mistake before that I didn't have that ready to go. Uh, I did want to try and craft the um, air pistol if I could. If I find some scrap metal in the town, that would be great but custom revolver as well if I just had a little bit more nails and some scrap. Um, this junk seller here may actually have some stuff for us. Uh, let's see what we could do. Oh, we can get this, so that's important. So we'll grab one of those. Um, he does have uh, nails. He is an AK-4. Oh, we must have sold that to him. No. No, I definitely did not sell him. I didn't sell him a shotgun. His stock must be updated. Yeah, because this is a new thing. Huh. That's interesting. Um, We need scrap metal. So that's at least that. And we may as well take the bottle for when we destroy a bottle. Homemade shotgun. Uh, rifles and shotguns, yeah, so we can't really do anything there. Um, let's see what we could trade him. Nine millimeter rounds we're actually running out of. Uh, so we're gonna need to deal with that. I don't know that I'm ever gonna use this. And that would pay for all of that, plus some. Let's just go ahead and trade that. I am encumbered, but that's fine. I only have to walk back to this box. Uh, let's see, if we're going to craft and we want to do a custom revolver, all we need is the gun base there. Or we could try uh, the air pistol here. Uh, between the two, honestly, I'm thinking the custom revolver is maybe what we want to try to do here. Let's... Yeah, the chance is low on both. Let's just try it. Here we go. Ready? Go. Success! We did it! It jams. Ah, that's not nearly as good as I thought it was going to be. So the damage is actually high. It's 9 to 11. So first, let's, let's take it out of there. So for this, we need more metal, which we don't have. Um, we need the other base of the gun, which we have. So we just need more scrap metal. So just real quick though. So this revolver does nine to 11 damage. Our pistol's five to 12. So this on average is gonna do way more damage because it's just a higher, but it jams. And that's a problem. It does have 344 AP cost, but what single shot, aim shot, and what? Oh, eight, reload is 4 AP. I don't have any ammo for it anyway. Well. Okay, well, that's at least neat. Um, I guess let's dump it in here for now. How do we craft a DIY respirator? We have a medium chance. Failed. We don't have any more duct tape? Yes, we do. Failed. Uh, we destroyed our duct tape again. That's fine. That time we did it. Okay, so this DIY uh, 
25% tox resistance. I feel like I was actually hoping for more than that. This gives us plus two stealth. Plus, well, actually, our face mask wasn't really doing much for us. Plus two stealth is really not anything to write home about, you know? So let's drop this in there. A savage shield plus 1% damage resistance. We would lose a dexterity. I really don't want to do that. Uh, maybe we can trade it for some other stuff. Let's go check out the med supplies real quick. We're just kind of getting uh, refitted and refueled here before we head out. Here's the doctor that we helped a while back. Doesn't really have anything that I care about. He has a lot of money, actually. That's worth nothing. Great. Terrific. Pipe rifle we can toss. Um, all four of those we can toss. We're at 228. 470. All right, so we can take all of that. And let's go ahead and take... Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Just one of them. Okay, I guess we'll take them both, and then we'll just pay them for the difference. 36. That uh, frees up a ton of weight from our inventory, which is very good. So now we're at 44 out of 58. Uh, I still do need scrap metal. Um, but I think we're pretty much going to leave here. I think we're going to go to Cray. I think going to Cray is not a bad idea. Uh, there's that that I don't really care about. Yeah, not much else going on here. So I think let's just call it, uh, quits here. That's interesting. I don't think that has... Wait, what's that? A condom. Okay. Well, we don't need that. Uh, by the way, I redid my lighting. I completely redid the lighting in my room, so hopefully it's more even and it just looks nicer. I'm trying to make these streams, the streams, these videos as high quality as I can. I'm, it's still work in progress. Please um, bear with me on that one. So we've seen the car before. We've been all the way down here. We have been to the circus, because that's what that was, right? It was the circus, I believe. Um, we haven't, ooh. Oh, okay. Uh, where are we? We're up here, yeah. So let's meet the caravanners. Uh, maybe we can trade for some other stuff. This is a fairly large caravan and they have, they have rifles. Yeah, okay, I mean, I hear that you're watching me. That's great. But, Markov pistol, we already have one of those. A swordfish, some gasoline. Oh, that's a Nagant. The damage is four to 10 and that's not really any better, so. Um, that's a rusty TT pistol we can get rid of. Rusty sawed-off shotgun. Honestly, we're not going to hold on to. This is interesting. Uh, I think I would like to use this. But we don't have really the strength requirement for it yet, so maybe not. Uh, I mean, the wheel of cheese. I don't think we need to hang on to that. So is there anything else that we feel like we might need to sell him? I mean, we could take something else off his hands. Is there anything that he has that we need, though? I don't think so. Let's just take one back. I don't really want to buy any of the rest of the crap that he has. Actually, the, the gunpowder actually we can use. Uh, if we need to make bullets, we'll be able to do that. Where did my money go? Yeah, there we go. Okay, now our weight is is way down. Uh, I was just passing through. Maybe he won't see us if we try to steal. I mean. If we were gonna steal something, this is worth a lot. Okay. I honestly don't know how he sees me. Uh, this guy, I would steal his bullets. This guy, I would steal his bullets. This guy, I would not bother stealing anything from. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with that because I already tried to pickpocket all of them and that just seems like I'm asking for a problem. So let's continue down. 
Uh, again, we could go to Cray, and we probably will head that way, but there's so much interesting stuff down here. So we're passing by that station. Again, we've been... Okay, there is a boat here. I'm not sure if this uh, counts as an actual area that we can explore or not. We will find out momentarily. No, seems not. Okay, so we have the option to go here. We could cross down here into this area. I think we should go to Cray. Uh, I mean, that's what most of our scavengers. Yeah. We're meeting a lot of friendly people, at least. You must be the leader. You look leader-ish. So he has some junk. We Oh, what is this? Battlefield stimulant Finiman 12 was rarely used before the war, but now became part of a regular drug market thanks to the stalkers. Two strength plus one action points. Oh. Wow. No, I'm, I would never use that. Uh, so let's see if we can steal anything from this guy first. He's kind of off by himself. So far, no luck. Let's just try to steal it. Nope. He is a broken bottle. You guys are the worst. Honestly, just the worst. He is a mushroom. Okay, I mean, we'll just... Pay for it. Perfect. And I did see... Yeah, okay, so we have a little cave that we can explore here. Again, I'm not expecting anything major from it or even anything good. But, ooh. This cave looks like it might be radiated. Is there anything here? No. No. No, there is not. Oh, this cave keeps going. Okay, there is one box. Um, Our poison isn't really going up. Oh, wait. Yes, it definitely just did. Wait, suddenly it's 200? It was just fine before. Oh, no. This had better be worth it. Wow. 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 Great. Super duper. Uh, I guess I'm glad I made that mask. Wow, 286. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a way that we can remove poison without taking the antidote. Uh, I should probably cook some. Yeah, let's just do that. Back. Just roast meat. Uh, that should get rid of our hunger problem that we have because I did notice it was kind of going up. I don't see anything on the car that we would care about. Yeah, we're 287. I really don't want to waste an antidote, but I'm going to have... I, I suppose I'll just wait until we're um, kind of done exploring a little bit before I go using it. Uh, because we could just get immediately poisoned right after. I just took 17 damage from poison. Okay, just kidding. We're going to take care of this right now. Because uh, that's unacceptable. I can't. I can't be taking 17 damage. Wow, we're actually like half dead right now. Excellent. Uh, he has a rusty TT pistol. Just failures across the board. Shotgun shells. I can't even steal a single thing. He has a boot. Why do you have such garbage? Why is it that all you have is garbage? I can't even steal 13 rubles. Wow. I wonder if it's even bad to kill the scavengers. Like, if I just wanted their stuff and I just wanted to kill them, would I actually suffer any bad, like, consequences because of it? I'm not even sure that I really would. Uh, we have 45 health. Yeah, let's just check this out. I don't know what it is. Uh, is it nothing at all? Oh, there we go. All right. Let's check it out. Oh, I got an achievement called Traveler. 
Let's go ahead and save. What do we got? Oh, dead guy. Okay, bullets. I like bullets. Oh. Okay, there's... Yeah, this angle is not great. Waste paper. Get a battery. I mean, I guess we'll take the battery, but... Uh, there's also a car here with whatever this is. Scrap metal. Oh, super duper! We're radiated real badly. All right, we're leaving. That was fun. I can't leave from that way. Okay. Go, go, please leave. 286, oh goodness. 431? Holy shit, that area is just radiation zone. Okay. Okay. Wow. Is it just going that way is gonna radiate us or was it just that one area? I don't care. Let's just go to Cray. I really don't want to be poisoned or radiated or anything else anymore. All right. We've made it to Cray after 10 episodes. Let's go ahead and save. And then we'll see what we got going on here. Let's do a quick exploration. So what do we got? We have an area that extends forever. It just seems to not stop. So there's like swamps out here or something. Uh, okay, a lot of swamp. There's one big house. Uh, what else? We're here at the front gate. What is this? It's like the entryway to a giant building. And then there's like a farm community behind it. Got it, got it. Okay, and this, this area is all walled in. And there's a guard standing at the front of... Whatever that is. Okay, we have some water. Yeah, I mean, gross water. Okay, uh, this is gonna take the rest of this episode for sure. I don't know what any of this is, but I guess we'll start here with this guard. I'm not terribly interested in talking to too many people. With his hands on his hip, a serious broad-shouldered militiaman watches over the street from his fortified post near a decrepit pre-war power station. Having noticed you, the law enforcement officer frowns his eyebrow and flexes his arm muscles. Well, 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 this is a strategic object. This isn't a place to take your walks. Have you forgotten something? Um, what is this and why can't I walk? The man rolls his eyes, annoyed. Are you blind? Do you need an eye exam? This is a city power plant, an object of great strategic importance, vital, like food and water. Well, that is sure important. How about another question? Um, can you tell me about this place? In addition to being blind, are you also deaf? Like I said before, it's a city power plant and it's very important, but import unfortunately poorly guarded. Uh, I don't care about your power plant. Do you have any rumors? I don't have any folklore, but I have a lead. Some people from out of town speak about a noble serial killer that has appeared in the north. His name is Hybris or Hubris, something like that. <laughs> Hubris. He killed a popular singer who became too full of himself and some pushy politician and then a mobster who has lost all his shame. People say be more humble and Hybris won't touch you. Hubris. Definitely Hubris. Damn it. I even had a change of heart about asking for a promotion about hearing about the story. Okay. Uh, why are you so mad? Open your eyes. I'm guarding an important government object all alone. There's no real checkpoint here. No security guards. And the only thing we have to scare off tourists and hobos are my rude words. Well, uh, I mean, hey, you know what? You're doing a great job, buddy. Maybe thieving just suddenly is broken. Who's this guy? Uh, okay. A tired, sweaty man walks around the coal power plant with a disgruntled facial expression. I mean, he looks okay to me. He looks at the machinery, sometimes at the huge furnace, sometimes at the large pile of coal near it, sometimes at different little gadgets and mechanisms that are all stationed all over the place. When he notices you, he nods in a greeting and wipes his forehead. They expect me to work in such an environment? Everything is falling apart and there's no real supply of coal. Problems with their coal shipment, huh? 
You see, since the old da uh, mine down east depleted, we have to get coal from the north through Paragon. And I'm guessing you already know what kind of a place Paragon is. Because of it, we don't get shipments on time. Kresnozomy blacks out constantly, and everyone blames me for that. Since I'm the head of this here plant. Well, I mean, can I help? Yeah, yeah, hey, maybe you could do something about our troubles. Someone needs to speak to the guy responsible for the coal shipments, who sits somewhere in the Chamber of Commerce bunker. I would do it myself, but I can't leave my post. Okay, well, where should I find him? In the Chamber of Commerce bunker. Duh. No one can get inside the thing, though. But if you... But you look like the type of guy who won't be stopped by that. The man you need to chat up is Alexander Sablin. Yep. I will just murder him. That's what I want to hear. Tell Sablin he needs to do something about Paragon. No, he has no time for questions. What about some really important questions? Okay. I guess not. Do you have time to be pickpocketed? Oh, you have a toolbox. I have a toolbox. Uh, does that raise my technology twice? I have two of them. Do I have 40 in technology now? Is that how that works? I have 39. I'm not sure. Is this locked? Is this locked? Okay, they're both locked. I need you to peck off. Thank you. Okay, hold on. We have 39 technology right now. I just, I just curious. I'm just curious. Okay, so you, they don't stack, but this is worth a ton of money. So I was going to unlock it, but then he turned around. He looked right at me. It's like when you're caught with your hand in the cookie jar, you're like, uh, I was just looking at the jar. I wasn't going to take anything. I promise. If you could just turn around and go the other way. There you go. Uh, wire. I did all that for some wire. Terrific. Uh, yeah, nothing to do there. Nothing I can interact with. And the rest of this is just garbage. Okay, so we've explored the power plant, apparently. Is there someone in this post? No, there's no one. Okay. I guess we'll head out then. Uh, so this area is done. That was it. That was quick. It's the very end of the map. We explored it. There's a guy there. It's not really that exciting. Um, I somehow get the feeling that there's nothing of value in the swamp over here. Honestly. Yeah, there's just an exit there and there's a farm. That's kind of interesting. So I guess we'll just go straight up the street here. So the first thing we have is some kind of, uh, this place. You see a strong, well-built man in his 50s. He staggers from side to side, hiccups and croaks. As he sees you, the drunk grins and opens his arms widely for an embrace. When he realizes you're not too keen for a hug, he calms down and announces with a smile, Ah, brother, vodka and cigarettes have given me quite a hard time, but I'm still able to recognize a man who's come to help unsinkable... Vysotsky, the navigator, to earn some dough. Um, here, take these 10 rubles. Oh, oh, ladies and gentlemen, we have an order. You didn't think, newbie, did you, that I was asking alms? I will dance to make up for any money. Like this, look. The drunk shifts his weight from one foot to another and claps his hands and waves his head and sways his hips and makes scary faces. Wait, can we give him another 10? Of course. The navigator snatches the bill out of your hands and starts belching, whistling, whistling and staggering from one side to the other, bending alternatively his left and right leg, slapping himself on the chest and belly without much rhythm. Damn. Hey, hey, la la lay, go on bala laika. <gasps> um, take a hundred. The navigator sobers up before your very eyes. He accepts the bill shyly, hides it in his chest pocket and heaves a long sigh. Well, if that's how you see it, you're right. No more dancing until I spend your money on drinks. I give you my word as an officer. Great, now let's change the subject. Or maybe let's talk some more. A conversation, yuck. Won't polish the sides of the unsinkable navigator, but we can chat, surely. Once we become friends, then, you'll pay me for my talent. What do you want to know? Um, why do you call yourself the navigator? I was with the motorized infantry, but I reckon the navigator sounds more romantic. Like the sea and all that. Yeah, the sea is romance, sure. Are there any sure rumors? In Berlin, I used to serve together with a captain and adventurer like you, a tough old son of a bitch. Then gangsters hammered his knees? Now he lives in the city bedridden. 
That's not a rumor. That's just what happened to your buddy. That sucks. How did you end up here? We headed for Moscow with the garrisons, but there was nothing but smoking craters there. Winter was coming, so we headed for the south. And then there were thugs and psychos and marauders. Not one minded cutting a soldier's throat to get his rifle and his ration. We moved deeper south and it seemed quiet. People were trading. Some old guy built an entire village around an oak tree. And <gasps> this was a real city with a proper chamber of commerce. Would it all appear in a bad place? Not a chance. That's how I ended up here. All right, man. I mean, we paid him a, a bunch of money. And it's already gone, I guess. What is this? This is a shop? Yo, this is the guy. I think they're taking some of these. Some of these seem like real people, and some of them seem like cartoon drawings. This guy was another gangster. Or was it the same one? This guy plays bad guys in a lot of movies. When I'll, I'll, I'll edit it in. When I edit it, I will edit in the photo, but for sure. Uh, he has really nothing that I want here. Doesn't even have a lot of money. Say the password. You clear your throat and lean... Oh, this is Fidel. This is the guy in our quest. I didn't even realize it. You clear your throat and lean in closer to Fidel. Whisper, treason is the highest form of sensibility. A traitor means a real man. The barman flinches... Uh, barely noticeably, but otherwise doesn't give himself away. With a nonchalant look, he picks up a glass from the bar counter and examining it for stains, answers, but it's better to die a traitor than to live a slave. Having said that, he gestures to a short lad who's running to and fro in the bar hole. Costia, stay in charge here. My friend came to see me. We need to talk, and you follow me. Okay, yeah, let's go. What are we doing? Oh. Fidel cautiously peeps behind the red draping and distrustfully looks around the bar. Finally, having made sure that none of the visitors are behaving too suspiciously, he turns to you with an outstretched hand for a handshake. The coast is clear, amigo. No one's eavesdropping. He gives you a firm handshake. As I've already told you, you can call me Fidel. Who do I have the honor of talking to? Uh, hello, Fidel. My name is Ambrose Redcurrent, or Pyotr Kaluchkin, or Mehmet Effendi, or Hans Christian Anderson. We're just Sonicat. The man looks you in the eye and slowly nods. Yes, you're telling the truth. Well, Sonicat, I can understand that you came about the lost expedition of General Marozov. I'm afraid I have to disappoint you as I myself know nothing about it. Although you perhaps have already managed to find something out. Let's tell him everything. Fidel is listening to you attentively. He does not interrupt you nor inserts his comments. When you've finished, he pensively takes off his headpiece and runs the palm of his hand down his bold scalp. He's worried. Yeah, it's clear that nothing's clear. Hmm. Yeah, it's all rather tricky. So it is. All right, we need to examine this issue thoroughly and figure out what is going on, while also getting in our characters and running errands for the locals. The main thing is to avoid suspicions. Fidel makes a theatrical gesture with his hand. I don't know, maybe that's like a theatr- Maybe like a one of these? Maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna come with you, amigo. Together, we have a much bigger chance of finding things out. Besides, I'm sick of this work. I'm a man of action, an adventure seeker. Here, I'm tied down to some spying activities, some bar. Uh, yeah, but who's gonna look after the bar? Fidel waves his hand. My student, Costia, he's a bit of a scaredy cat, but he's got a good head on the shoulders. He won't lose the bar. I definitely do need a sidekick, but I'm, I took the perk that was Lone Wolf, but I... Ah, uh, this is not good. Okay, let's see what we lose. Wow, we lost attention. We lost rifles. We lost survival, first aid, and tinkering. Our sequence is now zero. So we had gotten, wow. So we lost two attention, 20 survival, seven sequence. That's fine. We'll just take the hit. We'll just add there's nothing else we can do. He is good at melee. He is good at first aid. He's fairly strong. I mean, I could give him a melee weapon and just have him go to town, honestly. Uh, there seems to be something interesting going on there, but I'm not ready to not ready to do that. It's locked, huh? How about we unlock it? 
No one saw that or cared. Uh-oh. The owner of the mummy has barely poured his drinking buddy a glass of smelly potato moonshine when you put it into the idyllic picture in the most unceremonious manner. Both men flinch at you with a mixture of fear and confusion. We're closed for the night. Leave before I call the guards. Call them. They too will be interested and in see you drinking here with your exhibit. N no. So I have no idea what we just walked into, but apparently it was a guy that has a mummy who was drinking with the mummy. No, no, no. I, I won't call them. All right, you busted us. But please don't reveal the secret to our competitors, especially not to that winch, fortune teller Sarah. So they were doing something underhanded. Speechcraft. Uh, yeah, you're going to need to pay us if you want us to keep secret. The man starts rummaging under the table with a sar sarcophagus on top of it and finally retrieves a wooden box. He sighs bitterly and gets a hundred rubles from it. Here, this is all we can give. Please just don't give away our secret. Okay. They're cheating. Oh, one guy lays in the sarcophagus and the other charges people to see the mummy. Mummy. I see. That's why the door was locked. So they, Okay. Well, I mean, that's cool. Sorry I busted you, but I'm 100 rubles uh, better because of it. How do I... Oh, we're inside. So it's nighttime right now. So that's why I think just not very much is going on. He is a single ruble. I'm trying not to miss any houses. Can I get in here? Is there an entrance? Does this place not have a door? Where's the door? Locked. Not long. All right, so there's someone sleeping. Don't mind me. So far... Unlock that. Okay, I, I just need you to move. Ah, uh, sweet. You had a locked thing with... Garbage. It's full of garbage. Everything in this damn town is full of garbage. Oh, there's trash cans. I do love looting people's trash cans. There's a cow. I've found some of the most useful stuff in people's trash cans. Like that alarm clock. Top notch. I do think I needed nails. Uh, okay, let's go over here. This may be the last house here. Can I get in here? Is there a door? Oh yeah, look at that. Door's open. I don't have to lock pick it or anything. So, I'm gonna be honest, this is not feeling really worthwhile right now. Uh, there's a little hut here. I don't know that I can... Oh, yeah, we're inside. Nothing there. Alright, let's head back to the main road. Uh, I am Priestess Varna Banana Devi Christ... Okay. So these are crazy cult members, it looks like. Do crazy cult members carry anything useful? Devil's weed. Okay. So that cult member likes to partake. I can't see anything. There's a door that's locked. No one seems to be noticing me unlocking these people's doors and just barging in. Oh, she's sleeping. Five rubles, really. What about this house? Is this also locked? Oh no, they just left their door. Well, that's dumb. You should definitely not just leave your doors like this open. Anyone could just walk in here and steal all of your potatoes. And all of your corn. And all of your corn. And seriously, all of your corn. Oh, I just literally stole all of your everything. Everything. 
Damn, you are getting robbed. I know that I'm overweight right now. What I'm gonna have to do is give this guy some stuff. Hey, uh, can you hold some stuff that's just like way too heavy for me to hold? I'm not gonna give you that on the off chance that you like die or suddenly run away or something and then I'm gonna have to figure out like, you can have all the shotgun shells, I guess. Also like there's a hat. You can have one of my, no, I, I need to sell those as soon as possible. There we go. He can carry a ton of stuff. He's just going to be the guy that carries all of my stuff, I think, really. I will get him a, uh, a weapon. I need this guy to stop moving so I can steal his stuff. Please. Stop. Where are you even going? No, no, no. Why, why did he walk through there and I can't? This is baloney. What? What are you doing? Steal. Oh, he is... Really? What is it with today and stealing? I just can't. I don't think I've been able to steal a single successful thing this entire uh, episode. Okay, let's go talk to this guy at the gate. He seems important. I'm certain he's gonna... Yep. You see a tall, strong man in heavy armor and Ushanka hat. He turns to you while simultaneously grabbing an automatic rifle hanging from his neck. Well, well, the entrance fee to the city costs 30 rubles. It's a fee. 30? Well, that's not too bad. You hand over the money to the guard, but suddenly he steps back from you. He looks genuinely, or at least seems so, terrified. Oh, oh my, oh my. How come I didn't notice it straight away? You have Krasnov syndrome. No way. I can't let a sick man into the city. Epidemic is the last thing we need. Um... Intellect, this whole Krasnov syndrome is just a rumor. There's no actual such thing. Uh, no, 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 no. What are you saying? It must be the fever talking, but don't you worry. We'll figure out how to help you. It'd be good for you to get some help from the city hospital, but I can't let you in just like that. The man pretends to think really hard, and then a mischievous grin appears on his weather-beaten face. Oh, I do have a kind heart. I'll, you let, I'll let you pass, but for a thousand rubles. Um, are you for real? Where would I have that much money? Wait, I can't try that again. Wait, can I put on my speechcraft hat and try that again? What is my speechcraft? It's now 70. Can I try that conversation again? Wow. You really need me to get a thousand rubles. You're not going to let me in for less than a thousand. Is this true? That's really not very cool of you, guy. Wait. Serious question. Do you think he'd see me try to unlock this? Yes. The answer is yes. I could try. Uh, I'll just, just take it. Uh, I don't want to give it to him. Damn. All right. Pay him. Maybe I'll just kill him later. Why would you look at that? Thank you very much. Fine, go on and get some medical attention. I don't like this guy. I don't even want to talk to him. And of course my thousand isn't there. I don't feel good about what just happened. I don't like it one bit. This guy has 120. I can start to get my money back right now. Why? Why is this so hard? Why is it like I just suddenly can't pickpocket anyone? I can't climb the ladder. Oh, I'm so upset. Can I even take his 20? Okay, I took his 20. Go me. So all of the guards in this city have very automatic weapons. Okay. Um, well, we're gonna need to... Ooh. Ooh. An age-thin muscular man stands near the counter. He's happily repairing a piece of worn bloody armor. Hey there. Welcome to my little shop. Armor for any kind of taste and any kind of wallet. For the most simple ones to pure works of armor, smith, and art. What do you have? 
A leather... Wow, he has actual armor. Okay, this is important. Yeah. So this is a full-on helmet. Leather breastplate. Minus four dodge, but 16% damage resistance. And body damage threshold. So this combined with that helmet would actually be pretty great for now. Let's just do this. Um, I'm getting real poor prices here, it seems like. Yeah, really bad prices. Because this before was like 700. Maybe it's because I sold a bunch of them. Get rid of that. I don't know that I'm ever going to use that kind of ammo. We do need to get rid of one of those. Oh. Okay, well, at least we won't have to pay full price. We can get rid of that, too, because we, our, health, our hat currently does stealth. Uh, give him, like, one of those. And then we'll just pay for the rest of it. Okay, I... I mean, there's probably a weapons seller, then. If there's this guy that sells armor. There we go, we actually have some armor. Real quick. Not what I wanted to do. He's the only one in here. Oh, you could possibly steal. Oh, this helmet. This is what I want. Damn it! I really wanted that. I'm going to save. Nails. Okay, the metal I definitely would like. Corn? You're storing corn and potatoes on these shelves? Really? Okay, at least I got the metal. Um, what were we trying to make? We were trying to make a custom air pistol. We do have everything we need to do it now. But it's all back in a trodni, eh? Great. Hey, at least I have armor. I'll take that as a win. I don't know why that guy shot me. I guess we had tried to steal from him before and he walked over there. Well, whoops. Won't be doing that again. I can't tell who I've tried to steal from and who I haven't. Which is a problem. None of these guys even really have anything worth stealing anyway. Uh, I would like to find the weapon shop. I'm certain there is one. That's obviously... This is a medical supply store. Let's just see what he has. Uh, lots of interesting drugs. But nothing that I really... Ooh, wait. Go back in real quick. Really? He sees me behind him. Behind him. How do you see me behind you, exactly? Let's go check the dumpsters. Screw your shop, I'm gonna go check out the dumpsters out back. Maybe the dumpsters have better loot than what's inside. Scrap metal's always useful. And it's free. Y'all tossed it out, so don't be telling me that you were gonna use it later. Oh, I accidentally hit the out zone. Ooh. What? This is like the next part of the city? The city keeps going? Oh my goodness. 
Oh boy. What is this? I'm... I didn't realize this was more than one part. What is that? Super glue. Okay. Uh, so here's the thing. Uh, I don't have time to do all of this in this episode, and I don't see a shop that would obviously be like the weapon shop. I'm just kind of looking for maybe something that would indicate a weapon shop of any kind. But I don't see anything. Okay, well, this is going to be too much. So let's go back to this. There was one more building that we didn't check out. And then we're going to wrap up this episode here. We at least made it into the city and explored the first part of Cray. I know there's a lot more. So we walked in from this way. What is this? What? There's just so much stuff here. These are like apartments. Okay, there's just there's just too much. Maybe this is a weapon shop. Ick, if in those are Russian letters. This is a bookstore? All oh, right, I'm supposed to pick up a book. Uh, oy vey, a customer is my greatest joy. Are you here to marvel at my books, my dear friend? Um, I'm supposed to give you Recipe for a strange antidote. Okay, well, all of those... Oh, wait, let's do the quest first. Lord of the Rings, yes. Thank you, the bartender will be pleased. Don't be so quick to say shalom and leave, young man. A seasoned adventurer like yourself is a rare occurrence in my modest shop. Please, maybe you could help this old fool with one particularly nasty business. Why? Why the hell not? I'm all ears. You're a godsend. It's, it's as if you were himself has uh, made you from heaven's mana. Please listen. A new sect of utter Luddites have emerged from the north. They call themselves the illiterate. They only attack those who deliver my books to other booksellers. According to their crazy faith, the literacy is to blame for the current state of the Fakakta world. Fakakta world. They believe that if there are no books, there will be no sciences, no educated people, no technologies that could cause a second nuclear holocaust. That's what they say. And even though I'm not ready to argue with them, I beg you, help me stop them. I would have been able to forgive the anti-Semitism, but the enemies of the book shouldn't be allowed to misbehave. And the only thing you have to do to lure them out of their caves is to show up at their habitat with a bunch of books. It's their... Um, if there's love for literature in your heart, take a bundle of books and have north to bring justice. What are you going to give me for it? Well, as in customer, I can promise you that there will be some gelt and gefelta fish waiting for you at the end of this endeavor. And maybe, just maybe, even an expensive book for you. Okay. So he gives me a huge bundle of books. Go walk around the northern lands. Sure. I'll just go walk around the north for you. No problem. Okay, so I tried to steal. It didn't work. I'm gonna need to read all of these. Wow. That is too much. Okay, which ones of these do we think we... Double Barrel Fun, I don't need. The Avant Garde Almanac? Red Poppy and other verses. I don't know what it is, but maybe it'll be useful. Don't know what it is, maybe it'll be useful. Don't know what it is. Medicine? Oh, buddy. Strange antidote. Healing powder. Damn. Wow. This is worth five rubles to this guy. Let's just get... Whoa. Let's just give him the money. We need the recipes. Just do it. I don't like giving him that much money, but... These books might have something crazy useful in them. 
Um, and as always, hey, we gained speechcraft two points. As always, I'll flip through them. If you would like to read them, feel free to pause. That was that one, I think. Yes. The Red Strider. You gain survival five points. See, you can't really put a price on just getting free skill points, honestly. It, it just doesn't matter really how much they cost. We paid, you know, 2,500 and we're getting skill points. It's a worthwhile cost. Even though I'm not happy about it, it is worth it. First aid, four points. Um, that wasn't... Oh, there we go. Strange antidote. New recipe, wolf antidote. Seems like this is a fragment from a hand-copied very, very old grimoire whose meaning was lost a long time ago. Healing powder. Seems like this is a fragment. Yeah, again, very old uh, manuscript. New recipe, custom rifle. That is unfortunate. I was hoping that was something more useful for me. Custom double barrel. Okay, let's... He now has a lot of money. Wow, he won't take the books back for any money. Oh, that's upsetting. Oh, I was really hoping to sell him back the books. Uh, let's see. Shot round or a round? I don't really know. What is a round? Oops. Oh, I hit close. So that's a zip gun round. Great. And just a shot round? Failed. I broke the only nails that I had. Terrific. Wolf antidote. We need what looks like milk? A dried up mushroom and an onion. Healing powder? Again, the dried up mushroom tea and then a bandana. We can make a bag? Pellets. I don't know what pellets are or what they would be for. Custom sawed off shotgun, which we would never use. Custom double barrel, which we would never use. Custom rifle, which again, we would never use. So those recipes were kind of useless. Um, Take that. I'll keep the pile of books, I guess. Gonna need a lot more money. Let me just, I was really hoping for a gun store. I need a gun. And now I spent all my money on books. We have a lot of stuff to loot. Okay. We have way too much stuff to loot. Oh, hold on. Trash cans. Before I end, trash cans. Gotta do the trash cans. Uh, we need that. We need that. I'm encumbered. Hey, you. Why don't you go ahead and hold on to that 10 zip gun rounds? And also that and that. Okay, so I have not yet seen a weapon shop, but let's just walk into this building and we'll save. We're going to loot pretty much everything in this building on our next episode. Hopefully there will be something good in here, but I'm kind of feeling like probably not. It's been, I, I haven't been able to find a weapon shop. At least we found an armor shop, so we're, we're sitting better, you know, with armor. But as far as being able to kill people, coming up kind of short. So we're going to wrap up here. This has been episode 10. Again, if you have comments, if I miss something obvious, let me know in the comments down below. This episode is actually going up today. I've been uh, I've been really busy because of the new year and everything, but hopefully everyone had a had a great 2018. You had a great uh, New Year's Eve party if you were out and about doing anything. Hopefully that went well for you. And then yeah, we'll be back in episode 11. 
No plans on stopping or slowing down. So I will see you guys in the next one. Stay bronze, guys.